I'm going to start this video by showing you how to measure, if you skip the first video, uh, reminding you where we are in the sizing system, which here we're starting at size 7 and going till sizes 8 or 9, depending on uh, how filming goes in the next 20 minutes, and then we'll get to it. How to measure. You need your measuring tape, you need to bring it around the widest part of your chest. It's okay to lie down on your back while you're doing this if you think that is going to get you a more accurate measurement. It is really up to you because, boy howdy, we are all shaped differently. Inhale, take that measure. Always round up, by the way. Round up to the nearest inch. I find that's easiest. Write down the number that you've got, and then you're going to take a second measure, and that's the rib cage measurement around here, under the wider part of your chest, rib cage, inhale, take that number, write it down. This is the part where I'm going to put the size chart on the screen, and you're going to find your chest and your under chest measures of these, and find your shapeshifter size. If it's gray, that means a stiff insert is advised, Add a quarter size to your size if you want a relaxed fit. And as always, you're also going to want a length measurement. Start at the middle top of your shoulder, right about there, boop, down over your chest to wherever you want it to fall. I tend to like it right at the rib cage. So I usually go between a 14 and a 16 inch length, which is right there. If you don't know what size, what length you want, I always say 16 to start. You can always shorten it if that's like folding up or wrecking up here. And that short range is good for folks who are new to binding and maybe don't know yet how you feel about something around your midsection or your hips. So. It's time to start with the rack again. As before, I will be numbering each of these as we go. There will be a listing on our store website where you can buy any of these by their number. And I'm starting with size seven. What have we got in size seven? It looks like we have a lot. Yeah, all right. Okay, bunch of size seven. First size seven is a black mesh. Two layers in back, three layers in front, also a stiff insert. Good for that. And it is a length of 18 inches long. And it's a straight cut, no flare. So an 18 inch length for reference would be about here on me. And I'm gonna write that down. And I'm numbering this one left off on number 26. So here's number 27. Find your number 27 black mesh. Find your number 28 is a chimera. It's this nice gold hollow. It is real hollow, though you may not be able to see it in this particular light. It does reflect rainbows, which is always nice. Size 7, 16 inches long. What did I say? Binder number 28? Yeah, 28. Eight. I like the Chimera. I've had a binder like this for years and years. It was actually the first side zipper binder we did was my Chimera binder and I swam in it for ages and after enough hotel chlorinated pools the scales started to wear off but that took years. Anyways next size 7 is this cryptid which is the black hollow. Yeah you can see a little bit of the hollow it's catching the sunlight from the windows. Size 7 medium length which in this case means 22 inches long. 22 inches. 
and that's binder number 29. It's this one. And you can probably see that it's got a bit of a flare, which we always find helps with these longer binders to keep them from rolling up if they've got some room down here. Binder number 30, Oak Mesh of size 7. And it's got a stiff insert, which some of these mesh binders, if they're light enough, you can see the stiff insert inside of them. The length of this one is 18 inches. So that's 18 inches. Find number 30. Oak, again, is not the lightest of our uh, mesh shades. It is the second lightest, and I will post links to our comparison shots to give you a better sense of what oak looks like on a lot of different uh, skin tones and in comparison to all the rest of our skin tones. We have a couple of old photo shoot pictures of models wearing this too. That was number 30? Yeah, so binder number 31 is a poplar, size 7, short, no insert, so it's, yeah, 16 inches long. Find number 31. Looked for a second like it was tapered in, but no, it's straight cut. Find your number 32. Size 7, a snidus, a gold snake. It's this flat gold. What did I say? Is that number 32? I definitely said that. Yes, I did. So yeah, size 7, 16 inches long, gold and black. I Snidus looks really freaking cool. And we've got another one. That was what, 32? Yes. Binder 33 is a mid-length Snidus, also size 7. 33. Again, it's got a flare for the hip. And it's 22 inches long. Good length. Oh, this is a fun one. Binder number 34 is this spider print that we got about four yards of once and then never again. And so many people have asked me to restock this print, and if I could, I would. But in the meantime, Torech Ungol is what we ended up calling it, the spider's lair. It's a silver hollow spider webs on black. Size seven, length 16. And this is the last one in existence, unless the people who stock this fabric restock it this coming Halloween. Spandex house. Anyways, love this one. Some to get it. Halloween's coming up, you know? What number was that? 34. So this is number 35. It's a U mesh, which is another one of those discontinued meshes. So one of the last ones in stock. Size 7, length 18 inches. Give you some impression. U is the color that I would wear if I wore skin tone binders. That was binder number 35. I don't wear skin tone binders because I like fancy things. Just a preference. I have them. Number 36 is a bit more than a binder. It is a binder dress. I did say, yeah, 36. 36, size seven, trans fried ombre, binder dress. The skirt is 22 inches long, which was the length that we needed to make this ombre effect look as good as it did. It's a circle skirt and it is a binder on the top. Dresses are generally 
uh, starting at 125 and that's what this one is and it's the only dress on the rack and if you are a size 7 and you think buying a dress might be a fun thing I'm really happy and proud of this one give it a shot that was number 36 now I'll let that hang down there we go Number 37 is a size seven and a quarter. So we're getting the size seven and a quarter now. And the first of those is a solid black, size seven and a quarter. It is 15 inches long. And it is number 37. Number 38 is kind of an unusual color. It's a cream colored binder. Size seven and a quarter, 19 inches long. This was going to become an applique binder. And then I realized that we needed to cut that one with a high neck. So we recut it and this one went on the rack instead. 19 inches long, sort of a, yeah, nice pale, not quite a butter yellow. That was, what was that, number 38? Yeah. Number 39 is a liquid metal, the first silver hollow. And I'm hoping the light is catching it. Yes, that you can see that it is indeed extremely hollow. I love the photos fo folks have sent me wearing binders made out of this fabric at Pride because out in the sunlight, this gleams. Number 39, size seven and a quarter. It is 16 inches long. And it is also cut with a wide neck. Wide neck binders, uh, some folks find them easier to get on, especially also if you have broad shoulders. That helps. That was number 39. Number 40, binder number 40 is another oak mesh, size seven and a quarter. Wow, gosh, this is another relatively old one because it's only got one layer of mesh in the back, which means it will act like a relaxed fit. And if you are size seven and a half and looking for a skin tone mesh binder, this might be good. It's marked as seven and a quarter. It's 17 inches long, oak mesh. That was number four. Number 41 is another poplar. Poplar being our pale, solid, skin tone of option. It's 15 inches long, straight cut, short binder. Seven and a quarter, number 41. And binder number 42 is a sea serpent scale. This lovely blue. I like teal things, okay? It's a mid-length. How long are you? 20 inches long. Hmm. One time someone came up to us at con and said, I want everything that will make me look like a blue dragon. And we pulled this, or one very like this, off the rack and said, this is yours. And they said, yes, it is. Events are fun. Can't wait to go to events again. Anyways. Number 42, mid-length sea serpent, size seven and a quarter, 20 inches of length. And that's everything in size seven and a quarter. Seven and a half, we're starting with an unusual solid black binder. The reason that this one's unusual is that it's got not only a side zipper, like so, but inside the side zipper, it has an extended outer layer. 
So the binding layer is so long, and then further is just the black lycra. And the point of an extended outer layer is so that you have something that's binding down to there, and then you just have coverage for the rest of the way. It's really nice if you want something that will cover you all the way down to the waist, but you don't like anything constricting around your midsection. So, side zipper, extra long outer layer, black size seven and a half. Uh, the inner length is 15 inches, that's the length of the binding mesh, and the outer length is 21 inches, that's how long it will go down. Yeah, extended outer layer. It's pretty rare that we have one of those on the rack. What number did we say this was? This was number 43. I'm sure if I've misnumbered, someone will say so in the comments. Number 43. Looks kind of nondescript from the outside, but on the inside, it's got a fun thing. Number 44, Clerix Red. We went through so many naming schemes for the laces before we settled on D&D classes, and I really enjoy them. So Clerix Red is a white lace on a red mesh. It has a stiff insert. There's the end of the stiff insert right there. Size seven and a half, 16 inches long. What did we say this was, number 44? Yeah. Yeah, number 44. Lace binders always make me a little nervous because I personally am a clumsy person with who wears a ring and so I'm always afraid I'm going to snag the lace. But a lot of folks, a lot of folks pull it, pull off lace binders really well and they look really cool in them. And yeah, I hope this one goes to someone who loves it. Clerix Red, number 44. Number 45 is one of our dark meshes. Mahogany is the darkest mesh that we currently stock. A mesh binder, so two layers in back, three layers in front. It also has a stiff insert, which you can see right there. Size seven and a half, and the length of it is 17 inches long. So, 17 inches long. What was the number of this? All right, 44. Forty-four. I was so happy when I started to find dark brown meshes. Still need more of them, but I like the ones we've got. It's got a good soft hand, that one. Number 45 is a U mesh. 45. Size seven and a half. It's got a stiff insert, which you can see in there. It's actually got an extra wide stiff insert. That's 10 inches wide. Uh, the length is 26 inches and it's got some hip flare. Binder number 45. Nice and long, U-mesh. It's inside out on the hanger, which might actually be why you can see the stiff insert. Because with mesh binders, we do put the stiff insert underneath two layers of mesh on the outside. There we go. So the stiff inserts visible from the inside, but not so visible from the outside. It's still sort of there, but not as much. That was number 45, here's number 46. Number 46, puppies in space. Love this print. This is a size seven and three quarters. All right, we've started seven and three quarters. So seven and three quarters, short, 16 inches, has a stiff insert, has dogs on either side. I like how the print is big enough that you get different dogs at different spots. Pups in space, number 46. Size, once again, Seven and three quarters. 
Next size seven and three quarters is a solid black. It's uh, mid-length, so 22 inches long. It's straight cut. There's no hip flare there. That last one was 46, so this is number 47. And there was a special request on this one not to put a tag in the back. So unlike most of them, it doesn't have that little shapeshifters cloth, soft cloth branding tag in the back. If that matters. That's number 47, a mid-length solid black, seven and three quarters. Number 48 is another silver hollow. We call this one River Dragon. It's got that good, good rainbow in it. Number 48, size seven and three quarters, River Dragon. 48. Eighteen inches long. Normally we say a short binder is up to 16 inches, but you know, we're moving them, so this can count in the short price bracket. I don't mind. <laughs> I do love this silver. And that is everything in size seven. One moment. There we go, all right, size eight. Size 8 has a bunch of show pieces in it because whenever I wanted to model something and take pictures, I made it a size round about the mid 8s. So there's a few show pieces in here. The first size 8, let me see that River Dragon. River Dragon was number 48, so this is number 49. This is the rose print that we call Duelist's Garden because I am a nerd for Revolutionary Girl Utena and I always will be. And I'm not the only one. So, size eight, Duelist Garden, 16 inches long. That's number 49. Number 50, wow, number 50, and we're like halfway through the rack, look at us. Size eight, this color is called hibiscus. It's a nice, good, solid magenta. We use it sometimes for various appliques when you want like that punch of pinky purple. Uh, it's got a stiff insert in it. It is 14 inches long and it's tapered in. The seam is slanted towards the middle, which will happen, or rather which folks request sometimes if they find that their straight cut binder is sort of sticking out on them at the rib cage level. Um, you may find that if your chest and under chest measurement, the difference between them is over eight inches, you might find that both a stiff insert and a tapered in might help. Size eight, stiff insert hibiscus, that's binder 50. Number 51 is another Kraken. Size eight and mid length. 51. This one also has a stiff insert in it, and it's 20 inches long. 20. And it's a straight cut all the way down. There's the stiff insert ending. That was 51. This is 52. We call this color Merlot. It's this nice dark red, purpley red. Number 52. There we go. Uh, 13 inches long, and again, it's tapered in. So it's a size 8 here, and then down at the hem, it's more like a size 7.5 to a 7. That was binder 52. Here's binder 53. It's a size 8 poplar. 53. 
got a stiff insert in it right there. That was number 53. And that's the end of the size eights. Now we're getting the size eight and a quarter. Oh boy. <laughs> so the first size eight and a quarter here is a snid night with a lot of stuff going on with it. What number is this? This is number 54. So number 54, you can see, is the only one here with a hood. The binder itself is Snidnite, which is this lovely, subtle, black-on-black -black snake print. The hood is also Snidnite, and it's lined in basilisk. So the inside of the hood is that lovely black hollow scale. It also has short sleeves. Gosh, this was fun to make. So this one has a hood, it's got sleeves, and as if all that weren't enough, on the inside, let me see if I can't show y'all, it's got that extended outer layer going. So the actual binding material goes down to there, and the rest of the shirt just has the Snid Knight material. So, that's number 54, Snid Knight, size eight and a quarter. Uh, the length of the binding material is 14 inches. The length of the total is 21 inches. It has a lined hood and, a sl and short sleeves and an extended outer layer. It's a full on shirt. I had fun with this. That was number 54. Number 55 is uh, black and white roses which we call What We Grow in the Shadows with a mesh back. This is one of those really nice in the summertime, the back being nothing but mesh wicks away the sweat and then the front has fun print. Size eight and a quarter, short mesh back, 16 inches long. What We Grow in the Shadows, that's number 55. Binder number 56 is a plain white binder with a stiff insert. This is a size eight and a quarter, and it's marked eight and a quarter because it was on the rack as a try-on binder for a while. It has been washed, all of these have been washed, but this one is going to be on extra discount because it's been through the laundry a few times and it's time for someone to get it for cheap. That's size eight and a quarter, solid white stiff insert. Binder number 56. Binder number 57. Honk. Untitled Goose Game came out and I just played through it instantly. And I had so much fun. And then I looked up the developer House House has specific rules on their website for what kind of fan art is okay to sell. And it turns out, as long as they're not making binders, I can make binders and sell them. So here is a binder about a horrible goose. It is the horrible goose binder. It is size eight and a quarter. It does have a stiff insert in it. It is binder number 57 and it is a hundred dollars because those pieces are all appliqued on. And let me tell you, appliquing that tiny eye on spandex on spandex with the machine, it wasn't easy, but it was fun. Binder number 57, honk. Binder number 58. Listen, listen. The Boston League of Wicked Wrestlers invited shapeshifters to vend at their 90s Halloween, 90s throwback Halloween wrestling show. So what else could I do, really? I made myself this binder, Rocco's Modern Binder. It's got an extended outer layer, so it's 
Let's see. The binding layer is 22 and the extension is 32. It goes all the way down. So that's the lengths is 22 and 32. Binder number 58 and it has sleeves because why not? Size eight and a quarter. This one is 150. And that's all for eight and a quarter. Eight and a half. What do we got? We have maple. Maple is one of the darker skin tones. Nope, I'm wrong. This isn't maple. This is sassafras. Teach me not to look at the label. Sassafras, size eight and a half. A uh, short binder. It is 16 inches long. And what did I say that last one was? Number 58. This is number 59. Hmm. Number 59, sassafras, 16 inches long. Binder number 60, bacon lizards. This is one of the first spoon flower print orders we did. And then we had half a yard left over, as we often do. And it's just been a size eight and a half, 16 inches long. And this wonderful jungly print that we decided to call bacon lizards because, you know, yeah, binder number 60. And finally, for this video, eight and three quarters. Solid black, eight and three quarters. This is number 61. Twenty-two inches long. Straight cut down the side. And also it has no tag. The person requested that it not have a cloth tag in the back. 22 inches long, eight and a half. That is binder number 61. Number 62, solid gray, eight and three quarters. It is, let's see, 18 inches long. Straight cut down the sides, yes. Sometimes it's hard to tell because they shift on the hanger a little bit, but it is. Eight and three quarters, number 62. Number 63, quick snilver. Let's see how long you are. 16 inches long. There it goes. There. I dropped the Sharpie, but I didn't mark anything up. Quick Snilver and Snidus and Snidnight all have the same print. It's just a question of the color of the overlaying reflective part. And I really like the way they all look. That is number 63. Size eight and three quarters, 16 inches long. Number 64, a long one, Sea Serpent, size eight and three quarters, 64. There we go. This one has a stiff insert and a side zipper. Really useful for one this long because it can be extra hard to climb into a binder when it is 29 inches from shoulder to hem. So instead, you can just zip it up. Side zipper, stiff insert, sea serpent, eight and three quarters. That's number 64. 
And number 65 is a Snurple. Another side zipper, number 65. 29 inches long again, side zipper again, stiff insert again. So, I mean, tellies were part of a set at one point. Size eight and three quarters, there's the stiff insert, there's the side zip. I like the snurple print because it's patchy in that way that looks organic. It's absolutely on purpose built into the print. And that's number 65. And that is all the sizes up to size 9. So I'm going to take a break and then get back to you with the next round. See you later.